Hi, my name is Valerie, and I am in the process of purchasing this little house. I'm very excited about it and want to explain to you some of the energy efficient and sustainable features that I'm getting to include in this house. It's a small house, about 560 square feet with 140 square foot loft, attic space. Um, it was built in 1943. The option was to do a gut remodel of it or to tear it down and build a bigger house. I'm really excited that I was able to work with the current owner and the builder to do this gut remodel and to put in some of the features that I really want. Um, one that you can see right now is the metal roof. Um, underneath the metal roof is four inches of foam, which will help um, insulate it. And then the metal roof itself is really exciting for a lot of reasons. One, it's made of recycled material. Two, it's very durable and I don't have to worry about mold growing on it. Also, um, because of its light color, it will reflect sunlight very well during the summer, which should lower my electricity bills and help keep my home more comfortable. So we can go inside and see just a few more things that you're able to see today. So one thing is that we have what's called perlite and you can see it here. Uh, perlite is a mineral and um, it's a byproduct from industry and so it's very sustainable in, in that sense as well, which is great. And there's seven inches of it below the plywood here. So it'll be nice to actually have a warm floor because I've been walking around on cold rental floors for too long. Um, one thing that I'll talk about in the future is this Panasonic Spot ERV, which is going to help me have comfortable ventilation, and we'll get into that a little bit more when it's installed. Um, so today, we are working on air sealing. Um, you can see that we're taping some stuff up so that we can figure out how leaky this old house is, and we're going to do some work to make it tighter so that the air that I pay to heat or cool will actually stay in the house. And then that ERV I mentioned will help me have fresh air. And then the one other thing that is installed that you can see today is there's, kind of can see, there's a bath fan, which is very gonna be a very quiet bath fan and a very efficient one. So there are a couple other things I can show you right now because we don't have insulation and we don't have sheetrock. There have been these furring strips put in and we're gonna do what's called blown in insulation where they'll take netting and staple it in and then fill the whole cavity with insulation which is easier than putting in those bat insulation which you've probably seen. And since they put these furring strips in, they'll be able to get just a little bit more insulation than if we had done it to the original two by four. So that's cool. That'll make my home just a little bit warmer. Again, making it more comfortable. The other thing that I'm excited about, the water heater is gonna be pretty much directly right up above us with the washer dryer here, the sink here, the bathtub there, and the kitchen's only about 10 feet away. So we're gonna have very short runs for the hot water, which means, again, less money spent on getting the hot water where I want to use it. So we're going to be using spray foam to seal holes in the sheathing, uh, our bigger gaps, to try to make a tighter home for our beloved colleague Valerie. And uh, this is what that's going to look like. Filling these guys up. little by little. And we'll do this throughout to help Valerie have a better home.